that's what we plan for every year and everything obviously has to line up at the right time and uh, I feel like they're all at that time. Just like yesterday, you, you started off strong from out of the gates. You want fences four to one, you want horsemanship three to two. Um, what were you telling your team after yesterday going into the day day to get off to a strong start again? Abby, um, talk about that. I think the biggest thing we talked about is we had three competitions this week that we were planning for. So we won yesterday, but that's over with. So just getting ready for today is a completely new competition, starting off really strong. We knew SMU was an incredibly talented team all around, um, and we couldn't let up and we couldn't give them any points. You coached the win and reigning. Um, you know, talk about your kids there and, and, and their ride that they had in the rain today to do that. Yeah, no, in the reigning, uh, it was a little bit challenging. We had some, obviously our equipment has a brain and some challenges that way, so we had some challenges with three rides and stuff we're all set up to, you know, expect, but that just changes the game a little bit. So the girls, uh, Held their mental state really well. They, the flow was messed up a little bit, but they handled that really well. Um, and SMU has a very strong rating team, and so we knew what we were up against there as well. And they just, we just talk about riding every step, and you just take one step at a time, and then you make a decision in one step at a time. And it's, you know, like any other sport, it's a game of inches, and you got to take care of all of the little pieces, and they did in the rating, for sure. They were prepared to do that, and they, they executed to the plan. Coach, you've been here before, you had your program's had a lot of success in the overall national championship. Um, how do you prepare them for tomorrow's championship round? I think the biggest thing is we just gotta take this flow that we're in and, and the vibe that this team has. It's, it's a different sport because it's you know four very different events. And so you know a lot of times I mean, half the team's not even seeing the other one compete. So uh, we have so much support behind the scenes and everybody is there supporting each other. So we've gotta just continue that. Um, and you know, they, they obviously have the confidence they've gone out and beaten a lot of tough teams but you can't take it for granted so i think they're at, they've got that right line of having the confidence but not taking it for granted and still doing their homework and making sure that they are taking care of those every little step and every little inch i mean definitely agree with everything tana said but just taking it one ride at a time i think the exciting thing was jumping seat had a really successful day but we did not reach our potential um so we know that tomorrow we can stronger and we're just kind of building that momentum and we're just going to break through tomorrow and I think we're going to be super successful in all four events. Oklahoma State, um, they've been riding well this week too, old conference row. Um, how do you go up and prepare for this yeah. and getting us up? I was just talking to Coach Sanchez, reminiscing on the old days of the Big 12 days, so I hope that'll be kind of fun to, to just go back to it. Um, obviously we saw them this year and you know we've had some challenging meets against them this year. So 